Well, we're back in town, and I believe, uh, first things were first, uh, Lord Verd, Knackle, Sozny, and, uh, Captain Kerbal are all unfortunately in a bad state. Let's see, let's rearrange the screen a little bit by level, perhaps. There we go. All the twos on top, zero on the bottom. Just to get a, a general sense of who has the most and least experience. And get that in the right order, perhaps? So, this guy, wow, most, yeah, most experience is Knackle, followed by... Verd, Main G, Sonzi, or Tide. Thmerd, Boss Monster, okay. This will help me out because then I know if I wanna, if I'm trying to level people evenly, for example, I can go through and make sure I, I handle things in such a way. First of all, someone gave me some good advice, which is don't keep items on your characters as far as like special pieces of equipment go. Because then, I can avoid having to worry about whether or not I'm leaving uh, items on a character that I'm not taking with me on the mission that I could potentially use on the mission itself. I'm realizing this might be a little silly for some of the class If I have class specific items like that mask, it might be silly to take it off because I could just... Like, who else is gonna wear it? So maybe that's a, maybe that's a little overkill. Uh, I can refine my method there over time. But anyway, Knackle, Verd, Sozny, and, uh, and Kerbal are all in a bad state. Uh, I figure I should prioritize them by amount. Let's see, so... So he- oh, okay, so Naka will only drink. So let's see if I, if, uh, the bar is open. Good news, Naka, the bar is open. And looking at stats, like, do I have the ability to make the bar cost less? Oh, increase the number of slots to two. That could be good. Huh. Although that the crest, let's see, that'll cost me crests and portraits. Uh, I don't need to do it right now for Knackle, so at the very least I can do I can do this and move on. Let's see the let's take a look at the not uh, yeah maybe the guild. It'd be handy to be able to get. Let's see. I get reduced cost from increasing trading trading regimen in order to get to the ability to upgrade skills to level two. I still need one more portrait. That's frustrating. I think I'm gonna try to save my portrait so I can finally do that because being able to. Get extra ranks there would be really handy. How's the blacksmith? I can upgrade my... Oh yeah, I have enough deeds to finally upgrade my weapon smithing. So I can get... I can do more damage. I think I'm gonna go for that. That seems kind of major to finally be able to do more damage. And since we're at... Since we're here... Ma let's try to upgrade main G, actually. There we go. So I'll go from 7 to 14 to 8 to 15. So... One bonus damage, one bonus crit, two bonus speed. It's not a massive increase, but yeah, Main G is my most powerful melee character that's not going to be spending this entire next level recovering, so I figured I'd go for him. So Lord Vert is next. He's a Crusader, which is a yep, God-fearing. Will only pray for stress release, relief, so that narrows it down. So to, for those that don't know, what's going on here is that uh, four of my characters maxed out their stress during the last dungeon by hitting 100% stress, and uh, they, they got negative traits, so... Lord Verd's irrational, Knackle is fearful, Sosni is abusive, just being awful all the time basically, and Captain Kerbal immediately became selfish. Unfortunate, because brand new party member there. But, if I get them down to zero stress, those terrible traits will go away, so... They need some R&R, &R, unfortunately. Lord Verd being irrational is rather humorous, of course. So, Sosni, what do you- do you have any special traits? You cannot meditate? Okay. Anything else? Obsessed with self-worship. What does that mean? Can I even put you somewhere? Huh. I can't seem to... Oops. Almost rearranged things for a second there. I might not be able to, uh... What's this thing in the middle, by the way? Oh, I can't click on it. There's some sort of thing here. It, I don't seem to be able to ch treat her. No. Nope. Obsessed with self-worship. Does that mean that she can't worship? She can't meditate and she can't worship herself for herself. I wonder if that means she's gonna automatically recover as she's left here. Either way, I think I'm gonna have to get a replacement healer because she's not doing so well. Anyway, Captain Kerbal, how can I treat you? You're a warrior type and for some reason I believe that I automatically assume that that makes you good for taking to the uh... Let's see, to may help you rec- oh, experiences religious visions and delusions. Okay. 
I figured that she might be better off trying to recover in town. What is it? it co so it cost me portraits to uh, improve people here. I don't want to use portraits though because I'm trying to use them elsewhere. So let's just pay. These, uh, I'm definitely losing a lot of money trying to treat all these people at once. So I'm probably going to want to do a relatively straightforward mission next that doesn't cost me a bunch of money to recover from afterwards. So here we have Plague Doctor, Doctor Hellion, Leper, and Jester. I was ho I was definitely hoping for a another another uh, another Vestral, but I guess we weren't so lucky. Oh, that's what's going on. Sozni's getting cured for syphilis. My bad. I forgot about that. That's why I can't heal the stress. Is because she's already preoccupied. Okay. So the question is, what can I do with my current p available party members? I honestly didn't really see myself spamming a, uh, a stress heal of only three over and over again, so I went for the battle ballad for Lucas. Uh, the entire party gets bonus accuracy and crit. Not a ton, but spread out for the entire party, you can see that as being a bonus of eight accuracy and four crit. That's pretty nice as an overall buff, I think. So, let's figure out what I want to do today. I can pick a wield scout mission. Explore 90% of rooms, level 1 short, apprentice, that might be the good thing to do, is just do a quick, cheap mission to just recover. Probably the best thing to do after how poorly things went, especially since it'll give the people I'll, uh, that are recovering a chance to actually recover. How are things going over here? Short apprentice, medium apprentice, alright. I think I'm going to go for the Short Apprentice and the Warren specifically because the Apprentice missions, I mean the, uh, the Warren missions uh, award me with uh, portraits, or, which are one of the primary resources I'm trying to uh, accumulate here. So let's go ahead and add Boss Monster, Main G. Who's left? Uh, looks like Lucas and Thamurd are the next obvious people to bring along. Although, yeah those people are all level 1. Yeah, I'll, I'll take them along. I could take other people along too, but I'm going to go with the, with the uh, most ex most experienced ones for now. Just to try to get more level 2s, and then once these people are level 2s, my next choice will be the other people that aren't about to hit level 2. Or, le or less close anyway. I guess Lucas and Fatui are closer to each other than I expect. So, let's look into items real quick. Want to, we want to equip... Uh, we definitely want the, the mask on the leper. Alright, so main G has uh, the... Berserk Mask and Book of Rage, which means plus 30% damage overall. Uh, plus 4 speed, plus 20% hit points. Uh, less uh, reduction to stun, debuff and stress, resistance and stress heal. So, he's more vulnerable, but has comically large increases in damage overall. Deviant Taste and not allowed to visit the brothel. Right, we have a... Can, he can't meditate, can't visit the brothel. Low resistance, low resistance to disease. <laughs> There's so many things going on. I definitely want to, on top of getting a bunch of money, I want to get more uh, slots in the sanitarium so I can treat more than one person at a time, at a time, because minus 50% disease resist, that's not good, but I have to deal with the fact that someone else has syphilis first, so, you know, priorities. I'll actually rearrange them a bit. I'll put him in the front, because he's got a, a big scary 50 hit points, while boss monster only has 40. Although, Boss Monster has some items of his own, including his own bonus 15% damage, so... My two melee characters are definitely strong. Uh, my Jester has a Jester-only thing that makes him resistant to afflictions, but less likely to survive a death blow, although I'll, I'd like to avoid that altogether, especially on an easy mission. And he's got the thing that gives him a bonus to bleed skills and bleed resist, but minus to crit. The Merge, because all of his attacks are technically ranged, I gave him Sniper's Ring, which gives him 15 bonus accuracy. Although, since he's currently rank 1, I believe that means he gets minus 6. I assume, hopefully, that, uh... I hope that, I hope that means that it's only giving him a plus 9 right now, not a minus 6. Like, I, hope, I, I assume that it gives him a plus 15 and then a minus 6. But it's a little hard to tell right now. I'll just have to take a guess. Alright, so, let's get this to skirmish out of the way, and hopefully, I'll get a nice supply of, uh, portraits that I can use to upgrade other things. So, basic supply stuff. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of torches. This one's just a short one, so we'll just bring a we'll just bring some food, shovel, key, and just pray things work out. Even, I, I figure even if we run out of torches, I'm sure that uh, boss 
I, I'm sure Boss Monster and Main G and their upgraded equipment should should probably help us power through regardless. They breed quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Now everyone, stay calm. We're only going to die horribly. All right, crate's empty. Fat. Oh, and we immediately. Fi oh no, I've been surprised because I had. Really? I got surprised with 88 torch. Okay. I guess anything's possible. They went after me and reduced my stress. They gave me stress, but they did not do anything bad. Little to, little to they know, do they know that putting boss monster on the back just means he's going to get to do his fun lunging attack over and over again. So, let's see if I can get a nice hue in here. Only a 50% chance of hitting, but it's a guaranteed kill if it hits either of them. Be gone, and there goes both of them. It's all about rolling the dice. All right, Dirk Stab, pretty much guaranteed kill. Yeah, oh god, a crit. With impunity. How's that for your moral, for your morality? Well oh. Struck. My bad, I have to keep I have to keep track of the fact that Dirk Stab's a forward moving ability. Got a little thrown off by everyone getting rearranged, of course. Let's just fix that real quick. I did that in like the least efficient way possible. Anyway, moving forward, continuing to kick some serious ass. Contents are mine, all right, a little bit of gold. That'll help make up for all the gold I'm losing right now treating people. My goal is basically just to go in and out of here really quickly and finish the mission without anyone getting a new affliction <laughs> so that I can have a net gain in that aspect. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not a good sign at all. There's a barrier down there and a barrier up here, so... Huh. That means that as I'm exploring... Oh, God. That means I'm gonna, I need two shovels and I only have one. But at the same time, if I go if I go down without checking the left side, for all I know, there could be a room battle in there. And if there's not a battle in there... Oh, wait. The way that it's scouted makes me think that it's an empty room. It just shows some bricks and no icon whatsoever. I'm gonna go south and hope that, that I'm right about that and that it is just an empty room with nothing in it. Hopefully. All right, first torch down. Careful, careful. Ah, hey guys, how's it going, nasty pigs? I'd really appreciate it if you gave no one syphilis in this party. Press this advantage. Dying very Give quickly no certainly cover. helps. I should not be hitting... Oh no! We got... Oh, we got a little more... A little... A little... A little finicky. So this guy has an increased... Uh, I, I could go the the battle the party ballot. Let's do that. Yeah! These new abilities. They're not very, not very strong. Look forward to upgrading that thing, though. So, this character has... Bonus accuracy with ranged attacks, and I believe all of his attacks count as ranged attacks, so he should be more, yes, 90% chance to hit for 1 to 2 damage, and a damage reduction and accuracy reduction of 25 and 10, respectively, means this is going to be a fun thing to have. I don't know who should he use it on this. Uh, the chopper probably is more of a, a threat. Please don't resist it. Oh, debuff resist 25%. Oh, they don't, they don't have very good resistances, actually. I just got unlucky there. Oh, speaking of unlucky, they, they return the favor, I guess. Alright, zealous accusation. I can hit both of them pretty easily. Dude's fucked. Thankfully, I have a ton of AoE in this group. Uh, front guy can can AoE the front two people. Uh, so Manji can AoE the front two people. Boss Monster can AoE the front two people. And Lucas can uh, AoE the middle two people. But there aren't a middle two anymore. Anyway, Hugh. As the fiend falls... A faint hope blossoms. Well, things are going a okay. I already got another free. Uh oh. As the enemy crumbles. My bad. Main G is probably not the best person to try to disarm traps with. Is disarm? Let's see. Uh, trap twenty percent. Trap ten percent. It's probably Lucas. Yeah. As a jester, is the most roguelike person in the party, so I assume he's probably the most resistant to traps. So, any future traps will deal with Lucas. That was my mistake. What is that? You do it, Lucas. Gross. Alright, it's boring. Cool, my favorite thing. Use up my spare torch that I just got for free. See what happens in this room. Hello? Oh. I'm shocked. Turns out we're fighting pigs in the pig land of pigs. What did he do? Oh no. He gave me a slight, he gave me a bit of stress. No apparent syphilis yet, though, which is good. Oh no, they're critting me. I've been marked. Marked takes more damage from the from some targeted attacks. Well, I better ruin everyone real fast then, huh? All right, so 
I could start off with a nice, strong hue to basically have the ability to one-shot either of these people if I'm lucky, but at the very least to wound them and have a 58 chance of hitting, which is actually better than it was earlier when it was hitting every time. So of course, once I have a better chance of hitting, it's going to miss. That's how... That's how... That's how statistics work. They always fuck you when you least expect it. Who's gonna play now? Who's turn? Oh, boss monster's turn. Okay. So I could go holy land... Let's see, are, do these kind of... Are there any, any unholies here? No, human, beast, and beast. I don't know, those fucking pig people seem pretty unholy to me. Okay, so... I could do an AoE, which would give me 5 to 9 damage. Pretty high chance of hitting. Or I could go... Stunning Blow to try to k take someone out of the fight for a bit. Pretty good ch uh, chance of hitting. Basically, depends on how fast I want to remove this out. I can also do a, a Holy Lance. It'll move me forward one to the front row. And it will do 9 to 16 damage. The most damage I can possibly do. Potentially wiping someone out. This guy, is, this wretch in, the, in particular, seems like he has a good chance of getting killed. And I came up short by one because, of course, I did. That is how it tends to go. Unfortunately... Mr. Lucas cannot attack the back person, so he can't help me wipe that guy out. I can buff the party, though. Which does not seem like a bad idea. Okay. And this guy can use Abyssal Artillery, which can attack the back guy, and has a 90% chance of hitting, which is a great chance of hitting. Won't do that much damage to the other guy, but it, hey, a little bit of uh, AoE doesn't hurt. There we go, one guy down. And all that's left is people that everyone can AoE at once, so this'll be... We're gonna have some fun. Please don't miss again. Or, you know, miss again. That's also an option. He really has the most ab abysmal uh, hit chance. I need to find items that increases hit chance. Unfortunately, I think my only hit chance increasing item, increasing item right now is a range-based one. Ooh, that crit will help make up for it a bit. Wow, they both resist resisted bleed. They both only have a 25% chance of doing that, so that's pretty nuts. Why do you screw me like this? Why must we? Why was me? Why was me? Why was we? Wow, that sentence is just not what it was supposed to be at all. Why must me? Why must we argue? I can't speak today. I'm so sorry. I figure I would debuff the one guy who's going to be alive for the longest out of the enemies, and then just make a mess out of them. Really, I'm definitely taking the approach of let's just end every fight as fast as possible by doing lots of damage. Wow, zero for three from main G. Congratulations. Other guys debuff now. Now they're both. Oh, never mind. He resisted it. But yeah, that guy's reduced accuracy is definitely showing. What about these drums of debilitation? They may be marked. Now we have two marked characters. Thankfully, they're probably not going to live long enough for that to matter. So, really good chance of hitting. Let's finish him off. There we go. Now we're just down to the melee guy. That's that's uh, pretty debuffed and pretty vulnerable to basically everybody. I'll go for the stun just just in case. And he died, so it didn't matter. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. That's good news. The quest is already complete. So now, anything I do from this point on is bonus. What is this thing behind me? Lucas, you play with it. Sacrificial stone. Okay. You give you great insight. Warrens scra scrounger, did that make you? Are you more? Does that mean you're more likely to scout in the Warrens? Uh, yeah, ten percent chance, uh, scouting chance in the Warrens. Awesome. And you already had a twenty percent chance of scouting in the Warrens. So now you have a thirty percent chance of scouting in the Warrens. So basically, Lucas is god of the Warrens, and I'm just gonna take him to the Warrens over and over again, which is good because he's also does, isn't very stressed right now. So I'll probably just do another Warrens mission next, and he'll come along with me. I'm gonna go do more fights and stuff because now. I feel really secure, because we've already finished the objective, so I can just safely retreat whenever I feel like it. And it won't be such a big deal. So I might as well go for some more treasure, right? Which, I'm sure... I'm sure I'm sure Main G is happy to hear me say that. Yes, let's find some more treasure. I can't wait to take more damage. Because things are going so well for me right now. Uh, wow. So this, this could knock him back and reduce his accuracy. It has a pretty good chance of hitting. Let's go for it. Also, a pretty good chance of doing a lot of damage. Oh, why you do that to me? I'm so disappointed right now. Part of me likes using that buff from Lucas just because I like hearing the riff get played. Alright, because this fat guy in the front's so big, the two guys in the back both are in range of getting attacked at the same time by the Abyssal Artillery, which 
doesn't really do anything special, but it, it, it's noteworthy because it's, a, it's an attack that attacks two people at once, but only has a reduced damage of 25, which means I get to do pretty much my full damage. Uh, most uh, most uh, double attack attacks uh, reduce damage by 40%. I've, at least one of them reduces damage by 4, 55%, so this one only reducing it by 25% is pretty major. It means I get to do pretty much my normal attack damage. And if I'm lucky, it'll crit, which it did not, of course. But hey, five damage is a lot for, that, the tide for their turns. hit point count. Oh, don't talk to me about turning tides. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. I am, I'm admittedly taking more damage than I expect Mortality to, but I'm not going down. In a single strike. You guys can't throw enough enemies at me to actually take me down. Okay. Oh, I can wipe these dudes out. 9 to 16 damage? Absolutely. Yeah. You want to talk about the fucking tides turning at, at a single strike? There you go. How are we doing on light? 84, 84 is fine, I'll leave it for now. Uh, I can hew, but it'll only attack the front guys, so who cares? Intimidate has a better chance of hitting. And maybe I'll knock him back? Mess with the party a bit? Come on, there we go. Debuffed. Minus 10 accuracy. Uh-oh. Eh, three damage. Lucas is fine. Lucas is fine. Lucas is unharmed. Everything's okay. So, I, at this point, Harvest isn't useful because the middle guy is the only one that's going to get a hit. And two to, four, two to four is not great, although Bleed's good, I guess. But it does 40% reduction in damage, just like I was giving as my example earlier. So, Slice Off's a better choice for doing full damage and having a crit modifier that's pretty freaking high on top of the Bleed. So, and it'll, hit, it'll, tar it'll target the same person, too. So... It's the difference between 2 and 4, and 4 to 7, and a 15% chance of critting. And I did damage that was fully within the damage range of either attack, and did not crit, virtually nullifying the entire point. So stun resist 50, stun resist 25. I'm gonna wipe this guy out, so even if he survives this attack, he'll probably be stunned. Or he could just die. Either way, he's out of the fight. Now it's just a matter of hitting this guy with more shit. Ah, oh, he resisted the debuff. He had a 25% chance of doing that. 25% seems to be like 75% chance in this uh, dungeon right now, though. So much blood. You'll be, you'll be fine. Just be chill about it and weaken that guy. I don't know why it's your turn again already, but I'm okay with it. Oh my god, how is he resisting that attack every time? This guy, he is rolling 20s all day and all night. I might get ready to leave after this just because I don't want to... Overstay my welcome and make any bad mistakes. The greater the glory. Ooh, what do we have here? Protection stone, five protection. Oh, minus eight percent damage. So you know what that's good for is give that to like say the healer who probably isn't hurting anyone who's not hurting people in general. Uh, that'd be good for keeping them from taking too much damage. Everything else is just general resources. I'll probably give that protection stone to uh, to Sozni when she's done with her syphilis. So. Let's do some reading, maybe? No, we stress. Did we stress you out? Oh, you didn't seem to be that bad. So thankfully, I have a shovel, so I can proceed here. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Talk about not needing the amount of torches I brought along, huh? Uh, so far, I've, it was definitely overkill. Hunger, oh no, that's fine, we have food. That's why I bring it right. Wow, we are not doing great here. Let's uh, let's try to recover some of those hit points. Cause, gosh dang, the murder was not doing okay. Do we have a fight in here? Nope, just a scouting. And based on the scout, oh right, there wasn't gonna be a fight because we already did 100% of the fight room. So now it's just exploration. So both left and right, there's gonna be a trap. But on the right, I can do t I can open two things without a trap. So I'll pick someone who, let's see, out of all the, out of this group, Mangy is most likely to have to do treatment anyway. So let's have him open up whatever we encounter, and then I'll just get out of here. What's this? What's this? By God's light and dark, I hope this liquid has some kick. Oh no, you cut yourself, stupid. What is your trait that makes you do that? You'll never drink? In intense craving of alcohol? Huh. So you... Okay, so, uh, it's probably because of Dark Arts Temptation, but, uh... It, it seemed like he just did that because he was looking for a drink. Anyway, I believe that's the end of this dungeon, because from this point on I'm just putting at more risk of, uh, 
increasing my uh, stress levels for no good reason. So here we go. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Mostly just a quick run to get a little bit of money back. Uh, we got two portraits, which is good. That's probably enough for what I wanted. I think I only needed one more, but I need to refresh myself on what it was for. And 4,700 gold is a good profit. A little bit of experience for everyone. This is the part of the game that's essentially like grinding. Oh no, Lucas is claustrophobic. And has 10% more hit points. That's good. Uh, boss monster is irrepressible. Oh cool, resist affliction. I believe that's just a blanket resist, so that's definitely good. Ah, uh, main G is sickly. Oh, reduction in disease resistance. Don't you already have a, a like a hundred percent, like a zero percent resistance? So it's like just stacking the debuffs that do the same thing basically. Although maybe you can have negative resist, in which case you're just massively increasing the chance of it happening. name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Take a quick look at main G maybe. Can I? Oh, right, right, he's behind this, this page. I have to look at that first. Uh, so Thamurd leveled up. Uh, Lord Verd, oh no. Uh, he did unsavory activities and refused to take part in organized prayer again. So now, so he got, he got a, so he's no longer, he's no longer irrational, thankfully. So his, his quirk is fixed. But uh, now he won't pray, or again, pray again. Uh, Knackle is no longer fearful. Success. Captain Kerbal is no longer selfish. 81. That's a great recovery. All right, so that one that one was planned. And look at look at all of Main G's quirks. So, d didn't you already have a health problem? I thought. Wait, was is this not the character I'm thinking of? Someone had like a 50% reduction in uh, resistance to something, and it was I thought it was someone that I brought on that mission. Did that disease resistance of minus 10 just override his minus 50 he had before? It'd be funny, because that would mean that, uh... That would basically mean that a negative trait actually, uh, overrode a much more negative trait. Let's just do a quick look of the people I brought on the mission, because I think it was one of them. Was it Lucas? Yeah, I'm not... I'm not super sure, but I think it was specifically... Okay, claustrophobia. Oh, it, it doesn't really explain what it means. Uh, besides the real world explanation, I mean... I think, I could be misremembering, but I thought he had a minus 50, so I think he may have actually just gotten a better negative trait. I could be completely forgetting who I'm talking about. It's totally possible. Anyway, everyone, looks like I, looks like what I heard, the information I got was either wrong or has changed over time, because all of these characters never got down to zero stress. They just reduced in stress, and by reducing in stress, they now no longer have their negative traits. Uh, like the ones that were caused by having a hundred, uh, stress. So those, at least that's fixed itself, and I didn't have to get them all down to zero. I thought they were all gonna have to wait out two entire missions. So, Sosni no longer has syphilis. Ta-da! Right? Yeah, no syphilis. So now I just need to figure out what to do with- okay, uh, I need, to, I need to get this person to, uh, recover their stress. They will not meditate. And self-worship. Well, you're a religious type, so you're probably best taken somewhere here. You won't meditate, and you can't pray to the higher power because this asshole is taking up that spot. This is like the number one reason to try to increase the slots here, so... So he's gonna have to engage in flagellation, which I think we've done before. Hopefully that'll help out with that. So at the guild, I think I wanted to get the ability to raise up the levels of stuff, and I can't. Nope, that's- there, there it is. Allows skill upgrades to rank 2. Costs me 7 portraits and 13... Wow, I have a lot of crests. I have a ton of crests and busts. I should go check which place requires those two, because clearly I can max out that place. Uh, so if I can get ten more... If I can get ten more uh, portraits, I can increase ranks to level three. Though that may increase... They may require higher level characters too. Rearrange our characters a bit to fit... Hang on a second. I just want to rearrange characters slightly to, to reflect the... change in experience load. That's pretty much set. Okay. So, let's try the guild. With its increased caps, we'll try... let's try main G. So what kind of upgrades do we get here? So, my main ability I've been using is Hue. Hue has an, a, a accuracy base 65, which is terrible. Uh, damage mod minus 40, crit mod 2. When I upgrade it, accuracy bot... oh! 5 accuracy, and 1 crit. 
that five accuracy in particular is going to be would be really handy for this character. And I also have the bonus accuracy ability, 15 accuracy. This takes it to 16. That's not as cool. Okay. Well, Knackle's got really. I'm 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 gonna say Knackle. Well, actually, next thing to do is I should probably recover some money and do an easy mission again. So let's take a look at some of our lower level characters, like our level our level ones. I'll probably take into a mission for the purpose of uh, leveling up. So we'll take Boss Monster onto the screen. What can I upgrade for him? Stunning Blow. You can give it a. Let's see. A crit of one and a, ooh, a stun base increase. So instead of 100%, it's 110%, meaning you can actually override a bit of the uh, a bit of the, your opponent's stun resistance. That's a great idea. Holy Lance, you can increase its crit chance. You can increase its accuracy by five. These are these are good things. And, and more damage bonus against an unholy character increases the but overall benefits of using the ability in the first place. I'm curious about Sozni, because as the healer character, I can't really, I can't look at it. That's a bummer. I would, I would love to know how much I can increase her heal, her healing capabilities, because right now the numbers are a little low. But if they got higher, that'd be a big deal. Let's maybe look at Lucas, because Lucas has stress recovery at, uh, skills. So where is uh, stress heal plus three? Stress heal. If I level it up, the stress heal goes from three to three. I can spend four hundred fifty dollars to do nothing. Maybe it gets better later, but right now I would literally increase it by one, not by zero. What? What about what about battle ballad? Two accuracy, one crit. One speed, three accuracy, two crit. That's cool. So you add a new stat to the buff, and it still increases two different stats. That's pretty freaking neat. I think I might bite. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that because Lucas will probably be on my next mission anyway. It's definitely good to have access to the ability to upgrade these kinds of things. What about Thamurd? He's got an ability that debuffs somebody. Uh, it makes the enemy lose 25 damage and, accu and 10 accuracy. This takes it to... Okay, so it stays the same effect, but the accuracy increases by 5 and the crit increases by 1. Increased accuracy is good, although the, the character already has an increased accuracy item equipped, so it's not a super big deal. This could be interesting. Uh, uh, Knackleson and Knackle has that Grape Shot Blast I love so much where he does half damage, but he attacks three people at once, which, which is a whole lot of people to hit. And it looks like you can give it five more accuracy and one more crit, by which I mean it reduces the negative crit by, by one, taking it from negative seven to negative six. This is interesting. I'm definitely, gonna, I'm definitely happy the guild lets me upgrade skills now, because I'm definitely going to be using that in the future. Take a quick look. What pl I wonder what location requires. There it is. The sanitarium is where you can use busts and crests in conjunction with each other. So I can reduce cost of treatment, which is good. But I can also increase the number of slots. I think that's what I'm going to go for. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. Next time, it's going to cost me 72 busts and uh, 36 crests, so that's going to be a much longer term thing. But yeah, it's going to be, it'd be handy to be able to heal some of the uh, potentially more problematic traits some characters have. So I'm happy to have this kind of effect right now. Let's do a quick, I should do, I should do it, take a look through some of them. What's someone, Captain Kerbal someone I might not bring, I don't know. We'll think about this later. Uh, I mainly just want to have the ability to do this so that when more, uh, negative traits happen, I can do them both at once instead of waiting and like, Fixing one negative trait at a time, not a good place to be in. Two Jesters, a Highwayman, and an Occultist. I'm, l I'm hoping for either a new class or a Vestral. So far, not so lucky. And I don't have the deeds to upgrade this place anymore. Alright. So thanks for watching, guys, like always, and I'll see you next time. I went ahead and did a bunch of uh, post-mission micromanaging in this episode because I figured that was a short run. I might as well, uh, I guess, add a little bit more to the end rather than immediately cutting off and then having that at the beginning of the next episode. I'm just wondering when someone's going to join Beast in here when that's the, as the cast of dead people. All right, so this was a short one. Uh, the the le lengths of these episodes are probably going to be all over the place. Obviously, the, la the last one we did was uh, over an hour long. Shit happens.